Chinese satellite navigation sector reaches $74 billion, engages 20,000 market entities and provides employment to nearly a million people. In recent news, Beijing and Moscow pledged to enhance collaboration on Beidou and Russia's GLONASS system during Putin's visit to China. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. China's satellite navigation market is poised for rapid growth, boosted by the Beidou system and overseas expansion. A new report reveals. The market value of China's satellite navigation and location-based services hit 536.2 billion yuan, $74.2 billion, last year, marking a 7.09% increase from 2022, as per a white paper by the Global Navigation Satellite System and Location-Based Services Association of China, GLAC. The industry, anchored by the Beidou Navigation System, China's counterpart to the US GPS, spans various sectors, from hardware and software to data and algorithms. It has seen steady growth from 12.7 billion yuan, 1.7 billion United States dollars, in 2006, the report states. As economic recovery continues, digital transformation and intelligent upgrades across industries have driven demand for satellite navigation equipment and spatio-temporal data. The sector, comprising 20,000 market entities, has generated nearly a million jobs. The report anticipates that the sector will return to a rapid development trajectory in the coming years. Beidou, whose first satellites were launched in 2000, unveiled its third-generation system 20 years later, extending services to partners in the Belt and Road Initiative, Beijing's ambitious overseas infrastructure project. Beidou and GPS, along with Russia's GLONASS and the EU's Galileo, are the four primary global satellite navigation systems. During Russian President Vladimir Putin's recent visit to China, both nations agreed to enhance cooperation in the application of Beidou and GLONASS. China and Russia pledged to strengthen their long-standing space partnership, which includes collaboration on navigation systems and space programs, such as a proposed International Scientific Research Station on the Moon. In 2018, an agreement titled, Cooperation in the Peaceful Use of Beidou and GLONASS, was signed between the two governments, establishing a framework for collaboration. Beidou was acknowledged by the International Civil Aviation Organization as a standard in November, becoming a global satellite navigation system for civil aviation. The report suggests that Beidou's growing international influence will fuel its overseas applications. The report notes, several domestic companies are aggressively penetrating overseas markets, with related revenues witnessing a significant year-on-year -year growth rate of 15%. As of December 2023, there are 44 operational Beidou satellites orbiting the Earth. This includes 7 satellites in geostationary orbits, 10 satellites in 55 degrees inclined geosynchronous orbits, and 27 satellites in medium Earth orbits. As of now, over 30 countries, primarily in the Middle East, Africa, and Asia, are using the Beidou system. This includes countries like Indonesia, Kuwait, Uganda, Myanmar, Cambodia, and Russia. Notably, Pakistan and Russia are significant Beidou hubs. The Beidou has been widely adopted across a variety of industries. Here are some key sectors that utilize Beidou. 1. Transportation. Beidou provides crucial navigation and timing services for land, sea, and air transportation. 2. Agriculture and forestry. Beidou aids in precision farming, forest management, and other agricultural activities. 3. Fisheries. Beidou supports marine navigation, fishery management, and maritime safety. 4. Hydrological monitoring. Beidou assists in monitoring water levels, flow rates, and other hydrological parameters. 5. Meteorological forecasting. Beidou contributes to weather prediction and climate monitoring. 6. Communication. Beidou enhances the accuracy and reliability of communication networks. 7. Power Dispatching. Beidou improves the efficiency and safety of power grid operations. 8. Disaster Relief. Beidou plays a vital role in disaster prediction, emergency response, and relief coordination. 9. Public Security. 
Beidou supports public safety operations, including policing and emergency services. In addition to these, Beidou has been serving significant national infrastructure, thereby resulting in remarkable economic and social benefits. The system has also been adopted by e-commerce enterprises, manufacturers of intelligent mobile terminals, and location-based services providers. Beidou is extensively integrated into smartphones, wearable devices, and other consumer products. In the previous year, 98% of domestically manufactured smartphones supported Beidou's positioning functions. We will continue to follow up on Beidou and its development and report back as we learn more. That's all for now, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.